What's going on, Liquidation Gang? It's your boy, John the Liquidator, and I'm back with another video, guys. So, so sorry for not being able to upload, y'all. I've been working like crazy at my friend's company, man. I just have not had time to shoot content. But I'm trying to come together with a schedule this week to get vlogs out to you guys. I'm trying to do them every day like how I used to. I'm going to try. Shout out to all the new subscribers on the channel, man. Appreciate the love and the support. Thank you guys for coming over here, being a part of Liquidation Gang, man. But judging from the title of the video, sad, sad news today, y'all. Um, fear is definitely a factor for me. Um, I know that we was planning on opening the bin store. We was going to turn our store here into a bin store. But the way things been looking, man, with the bin store industry... Bin stores are starting to close, guys. Um, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I believe it got a lot to do with uh, inventory that was held back in the barges during COVID. So it's a lot. I mean, a lot of inventory out there, guys. And uh, prices are finna drop tremendously. Truckload prices probably finna go down tremendously. Inven like, just prices of everything probably finna start dropping tremendously because it's an overstock on pretty much everything um but like tara had actually brought it to my attention hey did you hear about such and such bin store they're closing the same day she told me about that a subscriber told me that a channel another youtuber they're closing their bin store and i'm like hold on wait a minute what you mean like another channel is closing their bin store like when the process of finna open one so I took with great consideration. I thought about it long as hard. I'm like, bro, the Ben store. I'm, I already went bankrupt on one company, man. I'm not trying to go bankrupt again, guys. Um, I'm, I'm just not. I don't even think I have another. I shit, anything left in me to not have another successful business. Uh, I've been dealing with a lot of failure this year, man. It's just all part of, you know, becoming an entrepreneur. This is just what you got to deal with. But with that being said, guys, I will be closing my store for good. Yes, guys, I made up my mind. I think I will be getting rid of my store. Um, I will be putting everything in storage, all the stuff that don't sell between now and the first of the month. Um, with this decision is purely my decision. Um I'm just tired of the headache, you know what I'm saying? I'm tired of the headache, I'm tired of like dealing with the county. I'm tired of all the overhead. I'm just sick of it. So with that being said, will this end my channel? Will I stop being John the Liquidator because I do not have a store? And the answer is no, guys. I'm just eliminating the store and I hate to say this, but I might be going back to e-commerce. So I might be selling stuff on unfortunately eBay. I might have to go back to Poshmark, Macari, Craigslist, definitely, definitely, definitely Facebook online marketplace. So with that being said, I'm probably gonna turn my company into an e-commerce business like what it used to be. Um, you guys don't know. So like before I had stores and stuff, I used to sell a lot of stuff online. That's how come I'm so knowledgeable about it. So, but that was a couple years ago. So, like, I've been having my own store, obviously, the last couple of years. So, I have not been on e-commerce for a while. Um, I had just got tired of dicking with all the stupid fees, you know. But I just feel like the fees itself <laughs> is a hell of a lot cheaper than the store rent, a hell of a lot cheaper than business insurance, hell, lights internet you know what i'm saying so me paying those little fees is way cheaper than all the stuff i'm paying for each store i decide to get will i get another store one day more than likely yes i'll probably have another store before the summertime you know god willing you know but it just all depends on how the e-commerce store go um tara been popping it off on what's not so i'm gonna turn her up on what not I'm working with my friend, and I'm probably just going to buy general merchandise stuff and just sell that stuff online, man. Um, I'm not even going to dick with the bin store. I'm not going to deal with uh, truckloads anymore. I just hate to say it, guys. I doubt if I buy a truckload for a long time. Um, I'm just tired, y'all. 
I'm 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 really tired. I'm just tired, man. I've been doing this stuff for some years now. My body's tired with unloading those trucks all the time, uh, assembling all this stuff, getting everything posted, listed, which I will still have to list items and post items. But I like I won't be selling big bulky stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you guys just gotta keep your post notification bells on. Turn up with me uh, as I go on this journey, man, of rebranding my channel, rebranding my company, and just, you know, doing what I need to do. I just want to give you guys a message, man, to anybody that got a store right now, man, at least in my city and state and here in Missouri. Um, I don't know what's going on with the economy. They say gas prices is going down. They say food's going down. But at the end of the day, the damage is done. You know what I'm saying? Like, the damage is done. My business was doing good until inflation came. Like, it truly was. Um, it ain't nobody's fault. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just how it is. So, it's just how it is. So, if you guys got a brick and mortar store, I strongly recommend you guys to maybe look into getting some online sales to try to bring in some more revenue and to maybe keep your store but me personally i had stopped doing online sales because i was making so much money in-house i didn't need to outsource stuff on amazon ebay macari and stuff like i didn't need to go that route you know because i was bringing in so much money in in-house but now when stuff goes south i'm stuck you you know i'm just stuck with a certain situation and I just feel like this would be the best business decision for me, my family, and the channel if I get rid of the store. I know some of you guys might unsubscribe. I don't know, you know, but I really want you guys to, you know, keep watching the vlogs. Just watch me how I rebuild something and do something totally different and still create revenue. Now, you guys don't know, I'm making a lot of money right now behind the scenes uh, working with my friend. A whole lot of money. But my whole thing about it is I need to invest that money into what I'm finna do. So I might need you guys help helping me figure out what should I sell? What should I sell next? I done sold the furniture, tariff in the green, turn up on what's not app, selling the clothes. But me personally, guys, I need an idea in what John of Liquidator should sell. What should I sell next, man? Um, I'm gonna be buying some stuff in the next coming weeks. Um, definitely buying Tara a pallet of clothes from Nordstrom's. And so be expecting taking delivery of a pallet of clothes from Nordstrom. That should be coming real soon. Um, I got to go shopping for a storage unit. So I'll be bringing you guys along the way with that. You know what I'm saying? But as of right now, man, I'm closing my store. I'm shutting it down. I don't want a store no more. I'm sick of the headache. I'm just sick of it. I'm, I'm just sick of everything. Sick of business being slow. People not coming in here and stuff like that. Because it don't matter how slow my business is. The bills don't stop coming. So if they don't care. You know what I'm saying? If I make $1,000 or $10,000. The bills is going to be due regardless. And I'm sick of it. I talk to the owner of the plaza. Let them know. Like, hey, man, I apologize. But I don't want to go through with that lease. I want to pull out of this deal, man. This is just not for me. I'm sorry to waste your time if you feel that way, man. But I cannot move forward with this deal. So he was... um okay with it you know what i'm saying he respected my decision to do that you, you know um but yeah it wasn't nobody's decision but mine to shut the store down and so at the end of the day my store will be getting shut down man like i said and i will be closing my doors for good i'm not getting another store no time soon uh we strictly finna go e-commerce so it's gonna be a lot of loss coming from the crib a lot of field action that i like to call a lot of me and tower going out to other people's shops and uh picking up inventory there too uh not just on b stock not just on liquidation but we'll be going to other people's shops and stuff just to support other people businesses because we know how it is man when people whenever people can't come into your whenever people can't come into your place of business and you're you you waiting on customers and it just it's, it's just not happening. people cannot you, support your business and it caused you to maybe go through what we went through man i know i'm not sad or mad or crying or anything like that i seen it coming y'all i seen it coming the ben store i told tower the ben store was my last hope and whenever the ben store we start researching ben stores it's almost like the hype is over with the ben store thing that's why i'm like man it's just time to hang it up you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna do anything different um 
I just feel like we should sell general merchant stuff, on, general merchandise stuff online, man. We need to go back to where we started. We need to go back to what got us here. And hell, why ain't never go bankrupt selling shit on the internet? You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't lying, man. I ain't never go bankrupt doing it. You know what I'm saying? So me doing this caused me to go bankrupt. So maybe I should go back to the thing that worked. You, you know, uh, now granted, I wasn't pulling in nearby as much money as I was pulling in having a store. But hell, I got the experience now. So now I know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know what it takes to bring in that large amount, that 20, that 30,000 a month. So like, I know what to look for to bring that in. Now, granted, I don't know what to sell though to bring in the 20 and 30. So like, I know the work ethic behind it, but I just don't know what to sell. That's what I need you guys for to get in the comment section. Voice you guys' opinion. What should I sell next, man? Like, what should I do on the e-commerce platforms, man? Um, yeah, guys, but it is what it is, man. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just tired, man. I'm truly, truly, truly tired, guys. John the Liquidator is tired of the headache with these damn stores, man. I'm tired of it. The recession kicked my ass, and I want to get out of the game. Put me back on the internet and watch me do my thing. You know what I'm saying? Watch me do my thing on the internet, man. Because it's time to turn up, man. And uh, yeah, man, I have no hard feelings with anything with my store, man. Um, you know, man, I tried, man. I tried. You know, I, I tried to keep the thing going. I truly did. I wasted a lot of money even getting this store. Thousands of dollars going down the drain again. But, you know, what can you do, man? But that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted to bring you guys a vlog, man. Um, but please get in the comments section and let me know what y'all think I should sell next, man. And uh, how should I start over? But it's been fun, and it's definitely been real. And this your boy, John the Liquidator, man. Checking out with another video. Peace.